hear in the scene chopped interview Kristen Wentz, who's been involved in numerous NHS theater productions, uh, mainly with stage crew. Um, our first question today is, what got you into stage crew, and what made it so that you want to do that instead of being like an actor on stage or something like that? Um, I started in sixth grade, and I don't remember exactly why I started, but um, I like painting things and drawing things, so I was like, hey, let's start with that. Um, and I think I tried out for show choir, and I wasn't I wasn't good at like the acting st acting stuff, and so I wanted to help and be backstage and be in the dark and not out in the spotlight. Do you have any aspirations to take this professionally one day? Yeah, that's actually what I want to do. Um, I want to be somewhere backstage, um, being like a stage manager or designing a set, um, and like go to college for that. What was the most difficult show you've had to work on, and why? Um, probably Spam a lot because it was such a big show, and there's so much going on. Um, and I was the stage left manager, um, and it had been my first time uh, working within like the high school, and so it was a different experience in middle school. What were your favorite and least favorite shows you've done, and why? Um, I think. Uh, Spamalot was definitely my favorite because there was so much to do. That was what made it fun, um, and it was such a fun show. And then eighth grade, I just didn't do much. Um, what was it? It was the Christmas Carol, the Dr. Seuss, and um, yeah, there just wasn't much to do. So. Our last question today is: What does theater mean to you? Um, theater is. Like for me, since I'm backstage, um, it's just a way to do what I think is fun. Like I don't really get to express myself as much as like some other arts do. Um, but I get, I don't know, I get to like work hard and show off like how much I can do within the show and make it better. And it's just something fun to do outside of work and school. All right, that's all we have time for today, but make sure to catch the next NHS Theater interview.